Welcome to my channel. Yesterday, I started what I thought would be a new uh, recurring thing that I would do on my channel called Daily Dismal Dispatch. And the reason I did that is because it seems like so much of the news these days is depressing that I felt like I should be talking about it. But then I got to thinking about it and I thought, what is wrong with you? You really want to give people dis depressing news every day? That's what you want to do? And I realized that was a really dumb idea. So I'm going to have to rethink it. I got to come up with a different name for it. But basically, what I want to do is I want to I want to make you aware of news and information that you may not necessarily have heard before. So I'll figure out a name sometime. But in the meantime, I've got a couple of uh, items of interest for you today. But before we get into that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. I thank you for watching my videos thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for the comments thank you for the wonderful atmosphere that we have here and for the growth of my channel i'm just i'm amazed i'm absolutely amazed it just keeps growing and growing and growing and i i don't get it but I, i'm not going to complain about it i mean that would be silly wouldn't it um i've thought about it one of these days if it keeps going like this I'm going to start getting money from ads. Now, first of all, I hate the stupid ads. I wish there were some way I could just say no ads because I don't need money. But the second thing is, if I start making money from my channel, I've got to figure out what to do with it. And I'd like to get your input on that in the comments. One of the things I've thought about is that I could use that money to help people on my channel who need help. I, I don't know quite how I go about that, but it's a possibility. So that's one thing. Another is to give it to charity. Um, like I said, I don't need money. So I'm not here to make money off this channel. And if I do get money from the channel, I got to figure out what to do with it because I don't need it. So anyway, enough about that. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to read you something that my wife sent me today that I thought was particularly hilarious. <clears throat> um, says, I saw this today and it was worth sharing. A pastor asked an older farmer decked out in bib overalls to say grace for the morning breakfast. <clears throat> Lord, I hate buttermilk, the, the farmer began. The visiting pastor opened his eyes and glanced at the farmer and wondered where this was going. The farmer then loudly proclaimed, Lord, I hate lard. Now, this, now the pastor was getting concerned. Without missing a beat, the farmer continued, and Lord, you know, I don't really much care for raw white flour. The pastor once again opened his eyes to glance around the room and <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> and saw that he wasn't the only person to feel uncomfortable then the farmer added but lord when you put them all together and bake them i do love the fresh biscuits <laughs> So, Lord, <laughs> when things, when things, I'm having trouble reading this. Let me see if I can get this closer. Okay. So, Lord, when things come to, come up that we don't like, when life gets hard, uh, golly, days is hard to read. When we don't understand what you're saying to us, help us to just relax and wait until you are done baking. It will probably 
be, golly days, even better than biscuits, I reckon. Amen. <laughs> uh, sorry for my stumbling. The, the, she, see, she sent me a screenshot, and as it goes down the page, the letters get smaller and smaller. And at my age, that's not a good deal. But anyway, I just thought you might get a chuckle out of that, so I thought I'd share it with you. Now I got a couple other things. Um, I stumbled across this article today. Apparently, and I was not aware of this, um, European farmers are protesting. And now the Swedish farmers have joined them. The article says uh, something big, something historic, has been taking place all over Europe. The last few months, farmers in 20 European countries have taken to the streets to protest against unfair policies driven in large part by the climate agenda. If you've only been reading the mainstream media, you might not have re realized how large these protests actually are. And the article goes on. I wasn't aware of that. Do you guys, the, those, those of you who are in Europe, have you noticed this? Are they reporting it at all? Is it something that's on your radar? I'm just curious to know. And then there's this article. And I'll put the links in the, in the description. The, the uh, Swedish farmer, farmer article is behind a paywall, so I don't know how much of it you'll be able to read. But you can at least get the headline and a little bit of it. But this article, State Department Threatens Congress Over Censorship Programs. Basically, uh, as some of you are probably aware, uh, the government has been caught uh, con conspiring with uh, big tech to censor people whose views they don't like. They call them misinformation or malinformation. Uh, in any case, it's information that they don't want the public to have, and so they've been they've been working hard to censor it. And the State Department has been involved in this as well, which is kind of weird because the State Department's supposed to be dealing with foreign countries, not domestic issues. But uh, the way our government is nowadays, you know, everything is all muddled together into one big corrupt mess. But anyway. Um, this is a YouTube uh, reading of an article that you can read on the web, but at least this way you'll get to see it because it's behind a paywall. So I'll put this link in the description as well. But basically what the State Department did was they sent a letter to Congress and they said, look, and I'm paraphrasing now, they said, look, if you're going to be exposing all our dirty laundry, then by golly, we want you to do it in secret session. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. <laughs> the things that are going on nowadays, I mean, you literally have to laugh, don't you? It's so ridiculous. I mean, it, it's the world has gone insane, and you just have to laugh about it because if you don't laugh, you're going to have to cry. And who wants to cry when laughing is an option? Uh <laughs> Anyway, that's my uh, news for the day, if you want to call it that. i got to come up with a title for that. Anyway, thank you for again for watching my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. And just know that I pray for you every day. I pray that you will have an abundant life and that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out. <laughs>